Microsoft has a new research project called Room Alive, which looks like it could turn your room into a holodeck. Let's take a quick look at what that might be like. Room Alive uses projectors and depth cameras to cover an entire room, including the people and the furniture inside, with pixels that can be used for both input and output. With Room Alive, users can touch, shoot, and dodge augmented content that seamlessly coexists with their existing physical environment. Our system consists of multiple projector camera units, or ProCams for short. Each unit contains a depth camera, a commodity-wide field of view projector, and its own computational unit. These ProCam units can be used individually or combined through a scalable distributed framework to cover an entire room. The ProCam units are auto-calibrating and can self-localize within the room. So, so we have six program units around the room, which is essentially a connect sensor, along with a projector, which uh, makes your room, if it's very blank and empty like that room, maybe, uh, into your own gaming environment. Yeah, it's really neat. This is uh, this is pretty cool tech. We originally saw this a couple years ago at CES as a Luma room. Microsoft had announced it, and then there's a lot of things we see at CES that don't actually come to fruition later. And this one Very isn't there true. yet either. It's still a research project. Yeah, still conceptual, still kind of like, hey, we know we had this a couple years ago, and it sort of fell off the map. But now it's we're doing this new cool thing, and then maybe it'll become something else. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think we'll see this come to commercial. I mean, this is obviously very expensive. You have six connects, six projectors, and six computers inside these ProCam units mm -hmm. to cover one room that didn't even look, you know, super large. So I, I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how feasible this would be, you know, for consumers. But really, it's not made for that. Mm -hmm. um, it's just really, I, I like that Microsoft Research is sort of like, hey, look what we can do. And, uh, and, and maybe someday we'll sort of see this technology integrated into a different product or, or an idea from this integrated into future products. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I, the, my big question is, and I'm, I'm actually, now I'm going to interview you for a second. Uh -oh. I'm really curious as to whether or not something like this would be more popular or, because I feel like with Oculus Rift and virtual reality really coming up quickly, mm -hmm. this sort of seems almost antiquated already? Well, neither of them is, they both have their pros and cons. I mean, the Oculus Rift is a great, or not, not necessarily the Oculus Rift, it could also be the Morpheus. Um, it's, it's this great sort of like immersive, well not entirely because your body's not in it all the way, uh, so that's where this uh, Illuma, no, Room Alive, it used to be Illuma Room, uh, has the edge, but also this Illuma, Room Alive, Gosh, I have a we Luma just call it a Luma Room Alive. A Luma Room Alive. Well, just, that seems good. Is uh, it's not practical from probably the point of cost. It might not work in maybe small, smaller or larger rooms. I know it said it was auto calibrating and auto. Uh, it can track where you are, and they're working together all of these sensors. Uh, but I don't know how well that would work in a room that's not particularly up to whatever standard that room had. But on the other side, when we put on a VR headset, we can only wear them for a certain amount of time due to how close That's it is true. localized to our eyes and also the weight. So this could possibly be better. It reminded me a lot of uh, the gaming scene in Her. Yeah. And then yeah. it made me feel very lonely. I, you know, I like watching them do this like whack-a-mole. Like I love the crazy, like terrible pseudo karate moves. Uh, I, like I was watching it and all I could think was, I, I feel like, did you go to Comic-Con this year? Yeah. Did you see the Cerebro thing um, at the X-Men booth? I was in it and I was not a fan, to be honest. Okay, you're not a fan. Well, what I'm saying is maybe something like this would be used by a studio or a gaming company, uh, you know, something to sort of promote something so that way you could go in and have this kind of immersive experience but it would never actually come to consumers in general like it wouldn't be for mass consumption it would be more for these kind of oh like perhaps maybe for Marvel's uh, their new tour that they're having where they it's like a Marvel carnival sort of right or like uh, like oh let's go look at Tony Stark's workroom and and you walk into this room and it's it's room alive and so this technology sort of incorporated that way. Have you ever been to Innoventions at Disneyland? Yeah. This yeah. is this is Innoventions, which means it's totally unrealistic. Right. But right. it is cool. But it's cool. And I, I feel like maybe these sort of experience things, like they're doing a virtual reality experience thing with uh, Interstellar. 
Paramount's touring around this virtual reality thing where you can put on uh, put on a headset, I think it's Oculus, and you can tour the Endurance, uh, which is the spaceship in the movie. And so mm -hmm. I feel like this might be applied in that way where corporations might be using it for different experiences. For marketing purposes. Marketing purposes, things like that. Uh, but just like, uh, do you remember the Surface? Like that big table that you were like. Oh my word. So yes, I do remember that. Where did that go? Exactly. And I think this is sort of a very similar thing in that uh, we might see it incorporated into businesses in some way but and as a marketing tool, but never as a consumer product that you're gonna be able to go to a Best Buy and pick up. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this is kind of in the same vein. All right, well I think I agree with you there. What do you think, audience? Is something like Room Alive something that you would feel is feasible for a mass market? And would you want one personally? Or do you feel maybe it will be go thrown by the wayside like we believe it might be? Let us know what you think below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe for more.